So let's begin your arithmetic progression. We know that Tn is A plus N minus 1 D from your high school days. If you're given this type of example, easy one, in your lecture note, example three, the 11th term of AP is 52. What can I say? 11th term is 52, so I can write it down as T11, 52. And the 19th term is 92, so T19, 92. Find the find the one thousand term. So basically, t thousand equals to what lah? For this topic, the the hard part is for you to ex extract the information. <coughs> so how do we begin? Basically, you want t one thousand. If you look at the formula. T1000 equals to A plus N minus 1D. I mean, it's still the same thing. Do I know my A? Yeah, no idea your A. Do I know my D? Do I know my N? You do. 1000. So what information do you want to find? A and D. How many equations are you given right now? You're given two. If I were to write this one down, A plus, this is 11, so it becomes? 10D. What about here? A plus 18D. If, if I were you, this is how I do my work. I write down what information I have. Okay, what information I need? We need A and D. Can I find my A and D from these two? How do we do them? Just a simultaneous, I leave it this to you on your own. We should get yourself A equals to 2, D equals to 5. And we just substitute this value inside here, which then will give you 4997. Okay, the main idea that I want you to get here is not the calculation too much. Is the strategy on how I get the how do I get the answers? I write down first what information I have. I want T one thousand. I write down the formula. I write down what I have. I I then only I try to find what I don't have. We're going to use that kind of strategy more and more again. Are you ready for the next one? Let's continue. The next question will be For this topic don't just search for how we calculate search for the planning. Topic ni the, the most important thing is planning. So we given here the n term is 4n plus 5 over 12 and they ask us to identify the sequence is arithmetic. Okay, basically what they're trying to show you here, identify the sequence is arithmetic. They want you to prove that it's a arithmetic progression. You want to prove it's AP. What do we know about the N term? What does this mean? This one mean Tn equals to 4n plus 5 over 12. Okay, I'll show you the wrong method first. The wrong method. Normally people ask, answer it this way. They say hey, T1 is <coughs> 4 plus 5, 19 over 12. And they said, hey, what's T2? T2 
4 times 2, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. Yeah, am I doing right? Sorry, sorry. 9 over 12. 13 over 12. Then they come up with, hey, what's T3? Twelve, seventeen over twelve, and they said that hey, nine over twelve, thirteen over twelve, seventeen over twelve. What's the distance? Plus four over twelve, or basically plus one over three. They said since this one is plus one over three, plus one over three, so they said it's a happy. And as mentioned to you, this is the wrong method. Why I'm saying it is wrong? Because this one here, you only prove for 1, 2, and 3. You haven't shown for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, okay, so you have to do T4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But then again, you will show 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. I want you to tell, I want to show you that this is wrong. This because this is a very common answer in exams. So how do we answer them, sir? Well, there are multiple ways of answering. You need to show that T n minus T n minus one is equal to constant. If the proof is G P A P, this is how you prove. You can ingat lah. You need to remember this one. Okay, what is the N? What is the N? We have calculated here just now. What about the N minus one? This 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 minus one is for this N. The book it's not it's not something like this. It's not T n then u minus one. It's not here. It's n minus one. Basically, it means something like this. If it's a T three, then n minus one will be T two. Okay. So if this is n, let's have a look. Some people get confused with this. So let's say if this is n minus 1. So for what's your n? What's your n? n minus 1 over 12. This is still wrong. This is still wrong. Why? You need to have the bracket. Please use read for that. So T n minus one is four n minus four plus five twelve. Oh, sorry about that. Four n plus one over twelve. So this thing here is your for your T n minus one. Am I too fast for you? Okay. So we put it here. 4n plus 1 over 12. Sorry about that. So 4n minus 4n. 5 minus 1, 4, 4 over 12, 1 over 3. Is this a constant? 1 over 3? It's a constant. So write down constant, write down constant. So it's a shown AP. Okay? If you schema, then you write down arithmetic progression. <coughs> I got senior lecturer that asked to write down arithmetic progression. 
you know we the youngsters always short form. Thank you become what? Thank you become thanks. Then? Then T Q or T X. Any shorter than that? T Q T X Q. Emoji. I mean this one. <laughs> no, this one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, continue. That's that's enough for blabbering along. <laughs> okay, example five is a lot harder. Find the terms between 100 and 500 that are divisible by 5. Sorry, divisible by 7. Okay, for, you take the information out. So this is what we, we got from the questions. Terms between 100 and 500, they are divisible by 7. Sorry, number of terms. Okay, what does it mean by number of terms? Well, if there's a Tn, this number of terms here, if there is thing called Tn, they are not interested with the Tn equals to something. Yet they are not interested in that. But they are only interested is the maximum number of n. What do you mean by that, sir? Yeah, I got that a lot. People giving me the look. Okay, after 100, what's the, no what's the next number that is divisible by 7? So take your calculator. 100 divided by 7, do you got decimals? 101 divided by 7? 102 divided by 7? 103 by 7? 104 divided by 7? 105 divided by 7? 15. Okay. So 105 divided by 7 is 15. So sorry, the number of terms here we want. The, basically, the question want us n equals to what? Okay, so the first one is 105 divided by 7 is 15. Now let's work backwards. 500 divided by 7? Sorry, it says between, so we should start with 499. I'm sorry about that. 499 divided by 7? 498 divided by 7? 497 divided by 7, what do we get? Come again? 71. So what can we say about 105 and 497? This is your T1. You agree with that? This is your first term. Now, 497 is T what? T71? No, it's not. We, we want to know this N, we want to know the S. You can say L, this is the last term. No, nothing wrong with that. So, how do we find the N? How do you find this N? What's the formula of Tn again? A plus N minus 1 D. Okay, do I know my A? What's my A? 105. 105 is your Tn. 15 is just that we're trying to show that it can be divided by when it's divided by 7. So your A is 105. Do I know my N minus 1? I have absolute no idea. Do I know my D? Divisible by 7. So D is 7. Okay, some people might argue, sir, how do you know that D is 7, sir? Okay, continue. What's, if T1 is 105, what's your T2? 
105 is your 105 is your T1. What's your T2? 1 112. What's your T3? 119. So what can we say about that? Plus 7. Plus 7. Agree with that? So your D is 7. Are you guys okay? Okay. Do I know my TN? I don't have no I have no idea about here but I we know we what we like to call it 497 we you want to know 497 is is the what term right so 497 over here then you can get your n how many unknowns you have there only one so press here into your calculator very carefully you get yourself n equals to 57 if i'm not mistaken Okay, very good. Okay, let's continue.